Hello there, Sir Fancy here and welcome in this video where we will look at some tips from one of the godfathers of game development industry and that would be John Romero. This video is mostly a brief summary of one of his GDC talks, so if you are more interested in this topic I would definitely recommend you to watch that video, link in the description. Before we will actually get into his tips, there is a lesson that I believe is much more important than any other. And that is that John Romero, when he was 21 years old, he already made about 74 games. It's incredible. So what we can take from that is basically practice make perfect, right? Also be aware of that, that he and Hall's ID software were working at a time where there were no un engines. Uh, you can't really even compare it with uh, what we are doing today. They sort of made it a lot easier for us, so let's let's be grateful for that. And with that, let's get to first tape. No prototypes. Just make the game, polish as you go, and don't depend on polish happening later. So always maintain constantly shippable code. It's first one, but already may be a little bit controversial. So let's really look into it. I believe that main meaning isn't that you should never do any prototypes, even though it kinda sounds like that. I think it's more uh, about that you already should from start have some idea of your game in your head and slowly just go for that idea. Later in the video he also clarified that no prototypes policy worked primarily because they all already had 10 years of experience of making games and they were a very small team and understood each other. But the part that uh, you should always have your game shippable sounds actually really good. What it means is that you should may have your core of your game, your core gameplay loop, good and it should be playable and then you can, if you have enough time, add uh, different layers and additional layers to make the game more fun. But the basic core mechanic should be done as soon as possible. Let's get to another tip. Keep your code absolutely simple. Keep looking at your functions and figure out how you can simplify even further. Okay, this one is actually really important. I believe that you should always have everything as simplified as possible. Your folder structures, your code, everything should be readable by everyone. Also, I usually work on projects by myself, but still, it's really better to have it organized even if it's only for yourself. If anything else, it's a good habit to have. I have discovered that if it's organized in the project, it's usually organized even here. Yeah, it has some weird connection. Let's get one of zip. Great tools help make great games. Spend as much time on tools as possible. Okay, this was probably very important when uh, they all were coding their own engines and everything from scratch. But today for us, does it still make sense? Weirdly enough, I believe that yes, it actually still does. Let's transform that a little bit. What I believe we still can today do is to really get to know software we are using. If you are 3D modeling, you should really know how to work with Blender and how to work efficiently with Blender, how to work fast. It's kind of like dating, you know, not that I know anything about dating, but important is that you shouldn't be with your game engine like on the first date, you are getting to know each other, you should be like a long term relationship, you really know what to expect from each other and that's what you are going to do together. Games. Okay. As soon as you see a bug, you fix it. <laughs> do not continue on. If you don't fix your bugs, your new code will be built on a buggy code base and ensure an unstable foundation. If you check in buggy code, some will be, someone will be writing code based on your bad code and you can just imagine how much waste that creates. This is something I have to confess to you. I am ignoring this rule as much as I can. Like to be completely honest, I have tendency to ignore all the bugs that I make and sort of think about it, I will fix it then, polish it then and all this funny stuff. But I know, I know that I'm doing it and I know how bad idea it actually is. There is nothing worse than to have a game that you have spent countless hours on and had some bugs that you decided to ignore and discover in the end that you are not capable of fixing that without breaking completely that game and creating tons of different bugs. So that's something I personally should really work on and I'm sure that some of you have problems with that too. So let's take it that we're, we all really should eliminate bugs as soon as possible. Let's get to another lesson. Write your code for this game only not for some future game. You're going to be writing new code later because you're going to be smarter. Also, you're not tying yourself down to the limitations of your past code. Always try new things. Well, this sounds basically like thinking outside the box game developer edition. And there is a lot of truth to that. When I am making game, I have a tendency to think about sequel, the whole universe, what it will be in five episodes next 
think Final Fantasy, you know. The thing is, it's probably not really productive. Like, what should we, we should prioritize and we should really focus on what is right in front of us. Finish that game and then we can eventually think about the, something else. It is absolutely fun to think about possibilities, but honestly, when you are working, you should be working on what you have in front of you and not to waste your time with what can possibly once happen, because that's something you will have to deal with once it will happen. Well, with that, let's get to another thing. Try to code transparently. Tell your lead, lead and peers exactly how you're going to solve your current task and get feedback and advice. Don't treat game programming like each coder is a black box. Project could just totally go off the rails and, and cause delays. Well, this is mostly about uh, working in team, which is something I can't really help with. But there is something I can share with you. I have realized that when I have some kind of idea or just code that needs to be explained, it really does help to explain it to other people. If you are trying to explain something you are trying to code to non-coder, it may be even more effective than if you are trying to explain it to coder. Because to explain something and to teach something to somebody, you really need to understand what you are talking about and you need to simplify it for that. So that probably basically means talking with other people works for some weird reason like these humans. Uh, let's get the last tip. <laughs> Programming is a creative art form based in logic. Every programmer is different and will code differently. Don't waste time focusing on a rigid coding style. It's the output that matters. You know what, let's drop the programming part, because whole game development, whatever aspect you are doing, is probably creative art. Definitely creative art. And because it is creative, we all are individuals, we are all special snowflakes, and we have tendency to work by our own way, which is absolutely natural and normal. And as cheesy as it sounds, the only thing we can actually do is to respect each other, honestly. <laughs> I know it's weird, but yeah, you need to respect other people, sorry about that. If we can respect each other's processes and weird ways that our mind works, we can actually get to really good output. Let's just make sure that everyone does what he or she or it can. And in the end, important is to have a good game, right? Okay, that's everything. Huge like for John Romero. Uh, you can also give a like right there. Just, just saying. If you are still interested in that, you can definitely watch the whole GDC talk. For that, you have a link in the description. It's everything from me. But last thing, go to comments and tell me what is your favorite rule, comment, or I don't know, thing I just, I just talked about. Tell me which one is your favorite and which one is absolutely hardest for you. Like you won't do it even if you try. That's about it. Sarfancy out. Have a nice day.